Hi guys, this is Korak from Ejureka. Welcome to today's session on Google Cloud Vision API. Now, before we get started on the topic, let's just discuss today's agenda first. The first thing we talk about is what is Google Cloud Vision API, followed by why do we use Google Cloud Vision API? What exactly is the purpose of using it and where is it used, right? Then we talk about how it exactly works. Then we go to the features, the benefits, the demo on Google Cloud Vision API. And finally, we talk about the use case on Google Cloud Vision API. Also, if you do like our videos, please do subscribe to the Edureka channel. And if you're looking for a Google Cloud Platform certification, please do check out the link in the comments below. So what exactly is Google Cloud Vision API? So Google Cloud Vision API is a machine learning service that is provided by Google Cloud Platform. And this API allows developers to basically integrate vision detection features into their applications, right? So this includes labeling, you know, face detection, OCR, which is basically optical character recognition, and it changes the way that apps integrate with images. So after that, what we talk about is why do we need to use Vision API? So why do we need to use Cloud Vision API? So the first reason why we use Cloud Vision API is the ML models that it provides because these models can be used, they can learn and predict image content very easily. And then basically the fact that it is a fairly easy to use REST API and you don't need to really do a lot of things and it's fairly easy to learn. And most importantly, it provides pre-trained ML models through the REST APIs that are there. So this is why you need to use Cloud Vision API. Now we talk about how Cloud Vision API works. So first thing we see that an API takes your requests and gives you a certain response. So you give in a certain request the API takes it and gives it to the server. The server gives the API the response and then the API gives it back to you. And next we see that Vision API then categorizes these images that you have. So it helps detect faces, objects, all of that, and gives you certain insights on that, right? So new avenues like building metadata is basically something that is extremely important when it comes to image cataloging. And image cataloging is something that these developers do. And finally, we see that developers build rich metadata all around to perform custom searches and give good results. As you can see here, for example, we can see that for this image that you see here, we have a search which basically gives it labels such as the mode of transport that you can see, the transport that you can see, the street that you can see, the urban area. So this is what it's detecting from the image that you've put, right? So this is how Cloud Vision API works. Next, we come to the features of Cloud Vision API. The first thing we talk about is the fact that Cloud Vision API helps in detecting labels. Now, detecting labels basically allows you to extract information about certain entities in an image. And you can basically group them in a broader category. So labels can identify general objects, locations, etc. So this is one of the features of Cloud Vision API. Next, we see optical character recognition or OCR. Now, OCR is basically the electronic conversion of images of typed, handwritten, or printed text into machine encoded text. So what basically this means is that if an image has some sort of text in it, be it scanned, be it imprinted in the image, it doesn't matter. But if there is some sort of text in the image, OCR will help recognize it and then change it into machine encoded text. So this can be from scanned documents or from the web as well. Next, we come to web detection. Now, when we talk about web detection, this basically can be used to detect web references for an image. For Alexa, for example, if you use an image from the internet, you can basically check out the URL, the full and partial matching images, and the pages that use the same image that you downloaded. So this is what Vision API helps it, right? And finally, we come to facial recognition. It is one of the key features based on the image that you provide. Now, Vision API uses sentiment analysis to give tangible insights to users. Now, these insights can be, let's say, what kind of facial features and structure they have, the kind uh, of person he or she is. You know, these are the insights for facial recognition. So basically, this can detect faces if face grouping is on. So next, we come to the benefits of Vision API. Now, Vision API, the main benefit is that it gives you a lot of insights on any image that you provide it with. Let's say, for example, that Cloud Vision generates tangible insights, right? So, safe search, label detection, 
and color schemes are all these different domains that you can use to basically give insights to a certain image now all of these are different let's say labels basically tell you the type of image it can be safe search tells you if your image is safe enough to be on the internet next we come to in entity detection now entity detection is basically uh, the fact that uh, you can identify web labels text images within an image and other such entities for the user very easily and that is a very important benefit as well as a feature and then we come to moderation of content now vision api moderates your content using safe search like we talked about before safe search is basically provided by google so explicit content will be marked uh, unsafe if safe search is on and content is based on user interaction right so these are the benefits of vision api then we come to the demo for cloud vision api so you go to your google cloud platform account console and you go to apis and services go to library and just type in vision api we have cloud vision api right here and go to manage so this is cloud vision api and this is already enabled and you have to make sure that before you use any api on google cloud platform you have to enable it separately so let's check out how google cloud vision basically gives you insights on certain images right so you can just drag an image in here let's say for example let's go in here and check this out and click this as well so as you can see what vision api does is gives you insights on what the image might or might not be now this gives you a chance that it might be a person there's some sort of footwear in the image and there can be animals as well so it is 71 percent sure of this 55 percent sure of this so there are labels then that it might be a mammal world and all of these are different next we come to logos text if there are text so there's no text here so basically there is nothing in here and the properties will basically tell you the different color schemes that are there here and safe search finally gives you the kind of content the image has to provide so this is a fair enough image for the internet so let's check out how to use google cloud vision api with python so when you go to your console what you have to do is enable google cloud vision api then go to credentials and go to create credentials and go to service account now make sure you give the name to your service account let's say vision api and go to create and continue now here you go to search role so you go here and you check currently used and you go to owner and this is basically you're granting the access and the role for your service account right and then after this you click on done so once you've created your service account you can go check it out the description of it and basically just go and go to keys so you basically then go to key and create new key and download the json format and private key is now saved to my computer so once you've downloaded your json file you can then go to your vs code editor and let, let me just explain this code to you so before doing any of these you have to make sure that you have made a python environment i've named my python environment vision api demo and this is it and then you can go to your vs code so what you have to do is before doing any of these you have to make sure that through cmd or any powershell you have to install google cloud vision and that once that is installed you can go to your editor and let me just explain this code now right so first you import the os and io files then from the cloud vision api that you installed through cmd you can import vision and vision v1 instances so these are packages that you can import so the difference between vision and vision v1 is that vision v1 has to offer two more methods than vision right so the next thing we do is that we have to create google application credentials and once that is created this is what your json file is used for so just go back here and use this as your name for the json file and 
as you can see this is the name of the JSON file and you just have to put dot JSON right and just let's save this so the next thing we do is go move to client now here we basically use the vision image annotator client method now what we can see here is that we are defining a detect text method now detect text is one of the functions from google cloud vision v1 so here we can see we have defined the function detect text and this is the code for it and what this means is that detect text is one of the features of vision v1 and that is where it's imported from and what it does is reads content from the image file that you have right and after this what we do is that we have a response for the image that is being read right so whatever is being read is then responded as annotations to the user right and here we've imported pandas before now pandas is basically used for data frames sql and other such let's say excel and all of that now pandas it will be used for data frames and this is the code for it pt dot data frame columns and this will show me the location of any text that we have in the image and the description that is there that is the description of the text that is there in the image now what we've tried to do here is another version of ocr where basically optical character recognition will happen it will detect text from the image that is present there right so the next thing we do is after this add the dictionary and add text to descriptions and locale right and then return the function for it the last thing we do is print our file name and the image that you want now for this we use print detect text os.path join and the file name and folder path now what you need to do is run this now before you run this make sure that you have the image that you want open let's go and check out images and this is the image and you can see there is some text here so let's go try and run this code right so as you can see it's basically giving us an output and this is the text that you have here if you go up here you can check that the location of the text in the image and the text that is there has been given the entire text you can see here in one line and here we talk about the locations that is there for locale and description then let's check the image now the image says believe you can and you are, you're halfway there right and let's go back here so this is the image text that is present and for location one we, we have believe this is true that you can and like this you can see that google cloud vision api is helping me detect the text that is there in this image right so this is how you basically use google cloud vision api using python finally we come to the use case for google cloud vision api which is nothing but the google lens now google lens is the most popular and widely used case for vision api so google lens attempts to identify the object or read labels and text and show relevant search results right so what you're doing is basically you're directing the phone's camera at an object and that uh, when directed towards the object will basically give you insights on whatever you're pointing it at right so google in lens is also integrated with google photos google assistant and other internal google services that are there present so this is basically what google cloud vision api is all about and with that i end today's session thank you and have a nice day i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!